what is wireframes, how do you do it, and what is it even good for? All the answers on today's episode. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to the free web design course. And today we're gonna talk process a little bit. So you wanna design a website, but wait, wait, wait. Before you jump in to your design software to try to pick the right fonts and colors and images, get started with wireframes. What is wireframes? Basically wireframes is a kind of a sketching. So check this out. This is a hand, hand drawn wireframe, basically showing the kind of the structure of a page. Now it can be done on a sketchbook by hand. It can also be done on the design software, but the goal of this kind of a, a low fidelity sketch is to try to wrap around your head about what would be the structure of the content of the page. How many titles do you need? Where should you put the button and how many images do you have? And that's kind of a way to think and make sure that you have the general idea of the story that you wanna tell in your page before you go ahead into the design software. And the reason that you do this is once you get into the design software and you start immediately to ask yourself, to face yourself with a lot of tons of questions, there's tons of questions, right? And we've discussed them on the previous episode. What colors are you gonna work with? Where do you get the image from? What kind of typeface should you use? What is the grid that you should? There's a lot of questions that are about the design of the page. But before you're diving into that and actually being distracted by it, you want to make sure that the thing that you're actually designing is the right thing. And so focusing only on the content and the structure is the idea behind doing wireframes. And it allows us to only focus on getting the important thing and our message across before we move in to focus about making it beautiful and great user experience and looking amazing. Now, as I've mentioned, there's basically usually two steps and the first one is hand drawing in your notebook, which I highly recommend you get started using pen and paper. This is because it's just so, so fast, right? You don't have to think. When you have a pen and a paper, you don't have to open up a new file and make sure that you're picking out the right tool and that you're having the right color. You just immediately go ahead and sketch. You can sketch out a whole page in like less than 10 seconds. And it's just a page. You can cross things off. You can start another one and you can explore multiple ideas very, very fast. Now, once you do this, once you get your um, ideas across, you're, you might want to take your wireframe to the computer and do a wireframe, like a higher fidelity wireframe in your design software. Now, sometimes you do this, especially if you're working with clients, you wanna get their approval on the, con on the content and on the structure before you go ahead and design this. Now, the reason that you wanna do this, now usually when you, let me jump here into the computer, usually when you'll do this, you'll again use, you're not gonna use color, so you might use like blank rectangular saying like there's gonna be an image here and a lot of times kind of an X um, communicates there's gonna be an image here and there's going to be some text here, some text here. Now, some people, when they do this, they use kind of lorem ipsum, which basically means there's gonna be some text here. But when I do this, I actually write the actual text that I think should be in the website because I think reading real text really gives you the context, is this, web, is this page working or not? So I actually use real text when I do this. Now, again, you don't wanna confuse your clients by showing them colors, by showing them typeface and images, and then they immediately gonna to react to that. They're gonna give you feedback on that. You're not like, no, I just want us to talk about the structure and the content. Is this the right thing? Is this where we're going? So if you wanna get feedback from your clients, I suggest you send them kind of a higher level fidelity, kind of like I'm showing you here, um, but without all the graphic design, visual design, so that you won't comment on that. It's just a first step. Once you approve that, you move into taking things to the more visual place. Now, that's that's a great process when you're working with the client. If you're working for yourself, what I usually do is I would just sketch around here and then actually do the actual design on the computer. I don't create the actual kind of a, a wireframes in the computer if I don't have to approve them with my clients. For me, it's just kind of an extra step. And if there's no client that I need to improve with, approve the project with, I'm not gonna do this. But I always sketch on, 
on paper, even when I'm just working with myself. Again, it really helps me to clarify my thoughts and my ideas. Now, if you are working with clients and you want to use the computer to send them something, there's um, a great, there's a lot of actually kind of UI kits and um, wireframing kit available. This one is my favorite. It's called Platforma and it's available for Sketch, XD, uh, Figma, whatever you're working with. It's basically a lot, a lot of components. As you can see, it's basically just text. They used the blue color as kind of a no color, but you can change that. Um, and there's just basically a lot, a lot of components that you can copy and paste from here to create some kind of a structure. So this is kind of, you know, an image gallery or type or all kinds of forms. So this would help you really quickly structure some kind of a page and then send it to your clients all of these software, XD, you know, Sketch, Figma, all have kind of sharing um, capability that you can share with your clients to get some feedback. So that's really, really a great idea. And I think it's really, really useful if you're sending them. However, I do still recommend that you start with pen and paper because if you get started immediately using one of these um, wireframing kit, you're immediately going to be limiting the way that you think and you do your layout and your components to what they have here. Now, even though they have a bunch of stuff here and it's pretty comprehensive, you want to keep your mind open and you want to be able to think about maybe something different and just get started here on pen and paper and then see if they have this. If they have, most likely they have it, use it. If not, you know, change it a little bit, but you want to make sure that you're not starting limited, but you're a little bit more free when you're in the brainstorming kind of hand process of wireframing. So those are the tools. There's also a lot of free wireframing kits because this platform is actually a premium one that you can buy. I'll put the link below to this one because it's my favorite and also to a free ones. I think <clears throat> My favorite free one at the moment is the one that was published by Envision. So you'll have the links below this video to this wireframing kit. And uh, yeah, would love to hear from you about your wireframing process in the comments below. Do you do this? How do you do this? And I will see you on the next video.